welcome back to the channel. It's me, Willie. In today's video, I'm gonna be putting together a song influenced by Cage the Elephant from Bowling Green, Kentucky. Now, the song I will be writing today is gonna be influenced by their song, Social Cues. It's upbeat, it sounds cool to me, and I thought it'd be fun. Now, before we get started, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not. Hit the bell notification so you know when I post a new video like this one. Now, today's instruments are gonna include real drums, bass, rhythm guitar, lead guitar, and some vocals. Now for the vocals, it's gonna be a little bit challenging, but you already know, we're gonna be doing our best today. Now remember, we're writing a song influenced by Cage the Elephant's social cues. If we tried to get any clothes, then we might as well just cover it. But we're not gonna be doing that today, because then I'm gonna get hit with a copyright claim. Now before I waste any more of your time, let us get into it. So the reason why I chose to write a song influenced by Cage the Elephant's social cues is because I really dig the song. It's upbeat, it's melodic, it has some really cool guitar sounds, which we are gonna do our best to recreate. So that being said, I have some idea of what I wanna do. Definitely gonna keep it the same tempo. And by the way, if you hear other guitar sounds in the background, it's my neighbor, it's not me. So their song Social Cues, I think it's in the key of B minor. I know it goes something like, something like I could go major, but I'm gonna go to a minor chord, so I would go like a... Something like that. Um, I would have to come up with a bridge. But I mean, we can just pick any couple of chords in that bridge part or solo part, whatever we want to do, and then put those together. It doesn't have to be anything complex. So that's the idea behind it. Same tempo in the same key, but just rearranging the chords a little bit. Shall we move on to the drums? All right, really quick, I wanted to share with you guys that I did a little bit something different with the snare. Now check it out. So before I used to use this little guy, and it was okay, I've been wanting to change the, the sound of my snare for a little bit. And then I just decided to put, and this is nothing new, people do this all the time. But I decided to bring a bandana and just kind of drape it over the snare. And what a huge difference it makes. It still kind of deadens the sound, which I like, but it also still keeps it punchy and not so like, Resonant, I guess you can say. Let me just show you this snare. Straight out of the recording. 
snappy and then I just drop it to negative three I do these for all the tracks so that they're all the same now I've already done a video on how I do the, my whole drums the whole process of the drums so you can check that out I will leave a link in my description now I'm not going to show you my whole drum process because I've already done a video on that it's under like drum secrets I think the title was um, it's just basically my approach on how I do my drums since I have a small pocket kit by Ludwig and I can't get that big sound. I just wanted to show you what the bandana draped over the snare does. It's more tamed but it's punchy but it's also still kind of fat. Plus I lower the transpose and it's even fatter. So these are the drums raw. Overhead by itself, snare by itself, everything all together. Alright, so let me just throw these effects. In my previous video, I showed you that I already made some preset um, effect racks for my instruments. So we're going to go to uh, Pocket Kick. Then we're going to drop the snare in there. No, that's reverb snare. Here we go, pocket snare. Overhead, right here. And then we're going to throw our uh, drum group because I also um, make adjustments on the whole group together since I group the drums. Very beefy, very beefy. A little bit distorted. I'm going to go ahead and lower this. I love the way it sounds. It's very, it's, it's oversaturated though, if you ask me. It is oversaturated. All right, let's hear it with all the adjustments. It's a little oversaturated, but... We can kind of pull back on it a little bit on the dry wet function right here on all of them actually. And where do I have that? Is it right here? Is it right here? Is it right here? Here we go. So after all of our adjustments, Out the overhead. See, it sounds beefier, right? I mean, I think so. With the overhead. So we're gonna roll with that. Now let's move on to some guitar. All right, now so for guitar, we're gonna go with some slight overdrive. We don't want it grungy, but we want it a little bit dirty, and then probably roll off on the uh, tone knobs on the guitar. So there's not so much like of the high frequencies because when I heard social cues, it's kind of like I don't know if it's a, a keyboard in the background But it sounds like it could be a guitar also Kind of just buried under those other higher frequencies or mid frequencies So we're gonna try something if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't I mean we're just having fun
Alright, so for our lead guitar, we're going to be using an effect pedal. It's going to be a Phase 90 by MXR. It's an old pedal that I've had for a long time, so I hope it still works, but really cool sound out of it. It's basically a phaser. Let's see what we can do with it. As you can tell, the boys are going ham down the hall. Alright, so really quick before we add vocals to the track, I want to add some shakers on the chorus part, but first let's lay down those uh, shakers. And also maybe some tambourine. I got this little guy right here. Ouch. All right, I got this little guy right here. Now let's add some claps. Okay, that'll do. Now let's move on to some vocals. Now remember, I'm not going to be able to mimic tone for tone uh, the vocals of Cage the Elephant. So, I'm going to do my best as usual. As long as we can get the vibe. Winter fade, summer wait, no surprise, I can't explain what I feel. People change, some would stay all the same I can't explain what I see it should be Alright Excuse, please excuse the uh, guitar in the background, that guy's just angry at life as you can tell it comes through the music that's okay we're gonna try and get through that it's so angry all right here we go winter fade summer wait no surprise I can't explain what I feel and I do People change Some would stay All the same I can't explain What I see It should be uh, I think we can roll with that I think we can roll with that Get rid of that Check, check. Let me see. 
Winter fade, summer wait No surprise, I can't explain What I feel and I do Alright, let's do the second verse and then we're gonna go to the choruses People watch, others talk Put away the will to shame and complain Is it you? People change Some would stay All the same I can't explain What I see It should be People watch, others talk Put away the will to shame And complain, is it you? Alright, I think we can live with that Oh wait, whoops, I forgot that second part People change, some would stay all the same, I can't explain what I see. It should be. All right, let's try the chorus parts now. E All right, we're gonna we're gonna do lower octaves and higher octaves, but for now, let's just work on the lower octaves. And then uh, we will go ahead and record the higher octaves. No control, I feel it in my soul. So, is there nothing left to learn? No control. So, is there nothing left to learn? No control, I feel it in my soul So, is there nothing left to learn? That's fine, let's overdub that. No. Nope. No control. I feel it in my soul. So, is there nothing left to learn? To, to learn. Let me add that. People watch, others talk Put away the will to shame And complain, is it you? Alright, now what else? I think we can just copy-paste this. I'm not sure how it's gonna sound. No control So, is there nothing left to learn? To learn To learn Control I feel it in my 
All right, so those are the vocals. I'm gonna mix this down a bit. While I mix this down, I'm gonna send you guys to the Banana Labs out show, and then afterwards, I'll show you guys the final track. Now, before I show you guys the final track, I just wanna thank you for watching the video, if you've made it this far. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not. Hit the bell notification so you know when I post a new video like this one. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at Banana Labs on YouTube. Now, after you check out the song, leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. I'm trying to incorporate a little bit more of my process into the same amount of time as my usual videos. I'm trying not to bore you guys, but I'm also trying to be informative. So let me know if these videos are working for you. Don't forget to share with a friend. Hey, and until the next one, have fun and keep creating. It's me, Willie. And before you go harsh on me in the comments, what are you doing with your life? And now, friends, writing a song like Cage the Elephant's Social Cues. <laughs>